All right, guys, how you doing? It's me, Jarvis, from PFHI. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to trim out a window or a door frame. For starters, I'm going to show you guys the finished product so you can see how it looks. And then, I'm going to show you guys step by step on how to accomplish this look. So if you look at it here, we've cut our angles and everything. We've got everything mudded. This is prior to being painted and everything, guys. So it's still one more step that needs to be done, painting and all that good stuff. But now we're gonna jump right into it. And don't forget guys, just in case you was wondering, this is a one person frame out tutorial. All right, so come on guys, follow me over here. Let's get started. All right, so the first step, you gotta get your measurements and you wanna be as precise as possible with your measurements. This is gonna affect the overall total look. So when you're measuring out, we're gonna start with our lengths and that's gonna be from the bottom to the top. And we wanna go from corner down to you want to save at least a quarter of an inch off the floor so that if you ever want to put flooring in, you can do that easily. And also, if there ever to be a flood with this being the basement, it'll protect the trim from being further damaged. All right, as you guys can see, we've already pre-cut our trim for the sake of time. Uh, when you cut it, guys, you want to cut it at your 45 degree angle, starting from the corner. You want to get as close to the corner as possible so that when you put in your top piece, it connects in, and this is the angle right here, the 45 degree. How do you get the 45 degree angle? Uh, you know, when you look at this, traditionally, we, want, we automatically assume that this is a right angle. So a right angle is what, 90 degrees. You divide that by two, that's how you get your angle to cut here for both pieces. All right, so we got that piece for this side. And this is the right side piece, guys. So like I said, it's already been pre-cut. Again, you wanna make sure you line it up in the corner for, to make sure everything is precise and you wanna leave a quarter inch off the floor. Again, for the same purposes, uh, preserving this uh, wood just in the event of a flood down in the basement area. And now that I have explained all that, we're gonna take you guys over to the saw just to show you how to uh, properly set your saw to cut these 45 degree angles. The saw that I'm using is going to be a compound saw, but you could go out and get you a miter saw, which also makes the same cuts and it'll be a little bit easier for you if you're a new beginner. So come on, follow me. All right, so coming over to the saw, guys, uh, the numbers are already on the saw right here. So the numbers that we're looking for are the 45 degree marks. You got one on the left side and one on the right side. For the door trim, this, that's what this is all about, these two one, you, these two on each side, you have to determine based off the angle that you need, which side you need to go to. All right, and uh, as you can see, this is a piece that's already been cut. So this represents the 45 degree angle on the right side. And then if you, if you swivel it over to the other side, The other side over here represents the 45 for the left side. So that's what you want to keep in mind when you're cutting your trim for your uh, windows or your door frames. All right, guys, also remember when you're uh, looking at your trim, the fat side, that's going to be the outside. The, the slimmer side is going to be the inside of the, of the uh, door. The inside of the uh, trim needs to be the lowest point of your cut going out at a 45 degree angle. So that's very important to remember to cut it from this side and not from this side because when you go to put your trim up, it's going to look funky and it's not going to be right. So you're going to have to recut it anyway. And that's how, if you remember these steps, that's how you can eliminate waste. All right, guys, so for time's sake, I already uh, fastened this to the wall. Got your angles. I got everything perfect there. So you're going from the bottom. Remember what I said? I'm going to leave it about a quarter inch on the bottom. So you want to start it from the bottom, giving yourself about a quarter of an inch from the floor, and then work your way up, fasten, fasten it to the wall, and you want to make sure this stays flush. We're going to go all the way to the top, and remember, we said we want to get it from the inside corner. So the measurement was from the inside corner coming out. That's how you get that perfect corner right there, guys. That's your 90 degree angle, but you want to cut them at 45. 45 plus 45 equals 90. All right, now I'm going to show you guys how to fasten it. I'm, I'm going to be using a pneumatic trimming gun. It's a powered and it uses air. So we got everything up in the corner like it's supposed to be. 
Check that corner out, guys. If it doesn't look like that, you don't want to uh, fasten it just yet, but we look good. Remember what I said, keep it flush all the way down. All right, guys, and that's it. I want to thank you guys for tuning in with us at PFHI on this door frame and window frame trim out tutorial. Check out more of our videos and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks.